these well here can we can put these poles on the side ones right there yeah we would like to get the anchor up we're just gonna make a nice little place for the anchor okay Welcome to the maiden voyage of the Don Treader. This is our, our new little boat. We're taking it out for uh, our first like big fishing trip. Um, it has a pretty cool story behind how we got the boat. And uh, we can fill you guys in here in a little bit. But right now, it's, it's pretty early. We got up around 5.30, got the boat prepped, got the fishing poles. Um, it's flat calm. We're enjoying the sunrise that's coming up and a beautiful full moon. The moon lately has just been like, it's been huge and it just, it sits like right above the horizon in the morning. Really, really pretty. Well, we've been uh, trying to plan this big fishing trip on the Dawn Shredder for about a year and a half now. Uh, every time we seem to get close to doing it, something pops up with the boat. Uh, whether it be it leaking hydraulic fluid or, whoa, yeah, that's a big fish. Man, just sun sunrise. Yeah, sunrise is beautiful. Man. You want to get a shot of that sunrise? Yeah. Man, See, even if you don't catch anything, seeing something like that is just worth totally it. worth getting up early. Today we had planned that we're gonna do a little friendly competition. Because of competition. Because of competition, right? We're gonna do a fishing competition, and so we each are issued two poles, one big pole and one basically just medium size pole. And we're gonna see who can catch the biggest fish, the most fish, and the most unique fish. The most unique is to be determined how that winner will be declared, but anyways, it'll just be a little friendly competition. The best and, uh, part is the loser so has cool. to treat everybody out to Chipotle. Oh yeah. Okay, so. so. Oh boy. Just about the most common bottom feed around here, these parts. So this is a little small guy. He's pretty harmless, except for, you gotta watch out because there's a barb right here on this fin. It looks like just the, you know, the dorsal fin, but um, yeah, there's this main barb right there. And so if you go on, like the predator comes over to grab him, you'll sit that barb up and it can, uh, can act as like a spike or a hook. Um, so sometimes it, you know, gets your hand too. So you gotta be careful. All right, Keen's got something on the line. Sounds pretty big, but sounds can be deceiving sometimes. Yeah. All right, catfish. I say there's a bigger one right there. Oh, the dorsal fin. See that? How it's hard right there on the edge. Ooh. I think it's covered in this slimy venom stuff, so it pokes you. Man, it hurts really bad, and it hurts for a long time. So that's catfish number three, right, guys? Number three. All right. Hey, Hudson, should we, head, should we move on? I said it's time to move on. Tango, do you copy? That's a Charlie. Or is it the Charlie? I am Delta Tango to Red Fox. Do you so copy? the Mid Bay Bridge is the link between Niceville and Destin. Uh, it's a great structure for fish because you got all these these pilings going all along the bay. 
So a lot of fish come here. You got big redfish, black drum, jacks, uh, even some tarpon will come in here, sharks. Basically like every fish will come in here. And since this, this is really the main structure in the bay, this is where the big fish hang out. So hopefully we'll be able to get some today. We finally figured out what type of fish is biting underneath here. They're spade fish. Um, we think we found a whole school of them. It's a really cool looking fish. Actually today's the first time I've ever, ever caught one. So I'm pretty excited. Um, they're really good eating and they're just a really cool looking fish. So we're gonna try to stick around here and see if we can get any more. All right. Wait, what happened? You got, you got a bite? You got a bite? Ah, uh, broke. Oh, the hook came on. The hook came untied, guys. Keep on? Keep on. Good job, Logan. Our current method is to kind of pull up behind one of these um, pilings. And I'm just being the captain, just kind of keeping us here. And uh, the boys are fishing, so we have about three or four lines in the water right now. A couple of really big strikes. And um, unfortunately, they've gotten away, but there's a really big redfish in this area. The snacks and the fish are all together. All the food. All right, so what's going on with the competition? Competition is pretty much at a standstill. I've caught in a mangrove snapper and some catfish. Logan's caught spade fish, spade fish and some yeah. catfish, and um, the Kian cameraman Kian with the spade fish. caught basically the same stuff. So. so, who's caught the most fish though? Let's see. Yeah, I caught one. I caw one keepers. Oh, two. No, I've got three. I got the grind. He's asking rhetorical questions. But All right, and the most unique fish. Grandpa here is definitely, about this. definitely a spade. The grind. He caught two of those. So. So I think I'm smashing it, guys. For snapper, though, I was the only one trying to keep Dude. a snapper. That's and it was so dark, too. I've never seen a meter of snapper that dark before. That's you pretty unique. Very unique. You, you have to you just face it, man. Unless you catch like a 80 pound redfish, that definitely can't happen. We'll bite Ash's line with him the next one. <laughs> However long we have left. Seven seconds. Anything that's possible, Faith. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fish on. No way. Fish on. What? Yeah. You want to keep the catfish? Well, that was crazy. Sorry, are you serious? That was told. That totally just and happened. Seven seconds. <laughs> what? And I paused briefly, and then I pulled on it, even though I didn't feel anything. And all of a sudden, I had one. What a boss. And this is the biggest catfish of today, so maybe this is also the most unique fish. Nope. See, Logan, anything is possible with fish. Alright, we've kind of caught our quota, I guess, for the day. We're not catching much more. And um, we still need to get back and start some work in school. So, it's been a wonderful morning out on the water, a great maiden voyage on the Dawn Treader. But yeah, time to get back before it gets too windy and stormy out. Our fishing trip wasn't as awesome as we expected. We didn't catch um, all the big ones we were dreaming of, but that's okay. It was an amazing, beautiful day to be on God's creation, and we just enjoyed it. There's nothing like being out on your own boat, being able to fish. It's just, it's awesome. And it's just an amazing story, actually, behind um, the Dawn Treader, our little boat. Um, it started last year. Um, we had gotten back from the States pretty recently, and actually, um, a neighbor of our grandparents, they live um, pretty close around here. Um, it was actually his boat, uh, Mr. Don. And so he had been a fisherman for like 30 years or something. He loved this boat. He had kept such good care of it and he would go out on um, fly fishing. And so over the years um, we had met Mr. Don um, and he had heard all the stories from our grandparents about who us boys were and who our family was. And so one day he just decided like he wanted to actually give us his trusted, his beloved little boat. And it was just so sweet. I mean we, we were blown away. What do, you, what do you even say to a gift like that? It was just amazing. So, um, in honor of Mr. Don, we named the boat the Don Shredder. So not Don as in like a morning, but Don, D-O-N. And what's so sweet about Mr. Don is he's not expecting us to repay him. He's giving the gift um, just to be kind and he's not expecting anything, any of us to repay him somehow for that gift. And that's just a really, really cool thing. And it reminds me of what um, Christ has done for us as Christians through his sacrifice on the cross. That was the ultimate gift, the gift that none of us will ever be able to repay. He took the sin and the punishment that we deserve on himself. 
and that's just a really, really cool thing. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.